Hello students, this is Dr. Sharmila from Department of Biotechnology and today I am here to discuss with you an important topic from biochemistry, the name essential and non-essential elements in biological system. Students, the picture already reflect that this essential and non-essential elements are mainly the minerals. Now, moving forward, let us understand what are these minerals. So, these minerals are nothing but the inorganic elements which constitutes only a small proportion of the body weight. So, there is a wide variation in their content. Why? Because according to the body weight, the constitutes constitution of the elements, inorganic elements differ. For instance, we can say that calcium constitutes about 2% of body weight while cobalt constitutes about 0.00004%. So, it is totally depend on how much amount of body weight is there and that is varies according to the weight of that particular body. Then as far as the elemental composition is concerned, students, the human body comprises the various biomolecule. As you already know that the human body is made up of biomolecules along with the water as a major constituent. So, 62 percent of water is present in the human body along with the 60 percent protein, 16 percent fats, 1 percent carbohydrate and 6 percent mineral as such. As far as the minerals are concerned, student you can see here the oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and calcium is there along with the phosphorus. Now, if you can see on that side, it is potassium, sulphur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium and others which are present as a major minerals inside the body. These minerals are basically composed of inside the human body to perform the different functions. Now, what are the different functions of the human body? Different functions of this minerals inside the human body that we can study later. But before, we are going to consider the classification. So, as far as the classification of mineral is concerned, the minerals are classified as principal elements and trace elements. Now, the question comes that what is the principal? Principal which contributes the major part. So, principal elements are seven. So, there are seven principal elements which are called as macro minerals and that constitute 60 to 80 percent the body's organic and inorganic material. So, now let us see what are the different principal elements. These principal elements are also called as macro minerals. The principal elements which are required in amount greater than 100 mg per day, they are primarily known as principal elements or macro minerals. The seven principal elements which are as follows that needs in the body are calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, potassium, chloride and sulphur. These are the different seven principal elements whose requirement in the body is greater than 100 mg per day. Now, moving forward, let us understand what are micro minerals. The word micro itself indicate that the micro minerals are required in amount less than 100 mg per day. What do you mean by less than 100 mg per day? If we see the macro, they are greater than 100 mg per day, while if we can consider the micro, they are less than 100 mg per day. So, they are subdivided into three categories. First is essential trace elements, probably essential trace elements and non-essential trace elements. So, these are the subcategories of the micro minerals as such. Now, in macro element, one of the important element which we can consider is calcium. Student, calcium is important requirement of human body. For which purpose? As you all know, for bones and teeth. Calcium is the most abundant among the minerals in the body. The total content of calcium in an adult man is about 1 to 1.5 kg per body weight. So, as much as 99 percent of the calcium which is present in the human body, it is present in bones and teeth because the main function of calcium is to strengthen the bones and teeth of the human body. Now, other than that, the different biochemical functions which calcium performs are calcium helps in your body with building strong bones and teeth, clotting of the blood, sending and receiving nerve signals, squeezing and relaxing muscles which comprises the contraction of the muscles, releasing hormones and other chemicals, keeping a normal heartbeat. These are the important biochemical functions which performed by the calcium and that is why the requirement of calcium is more inside the body. As far as the dietary requirement is concerned, students if you can see that the picture 
itself reflect that there are different dietary sources so these are adult men and women requires 100 mg per day women during pregnancy lactation and post menopause requires 1.5 gram per day while the children in the age group 1 to 18 years requires 1.5 gram per day that is for women and children requires 0.8 to 1.2 gram per day as far as the absorption is concerned, students, the calcium is primarily absorbed in duodenum. So, the absorption of calcium mostly occur in the duodenum by an energy dependent active process and it is influenced by several factors. If you see the students, it is a shape of duodenum which is a major part of digestive system. So, this is the way how the absorption is carried out. Now, let us understand what are the factors promoting calcium absorption. In the diagram you can able to see kidney, parathyroid hormone released from the thyroid gland, calcium from the bones and the digestive system, major part of the digestive system is nothing but the small intestine. So, these are the factors which promotes the calcium absorption. So, if you can see in detail which are the factors promotes the calcium absorption are vitamin D. If you can say that vitamin D through its active form of calcitriol, it induces the synthesis of calcitonin binding protein in the intestinal epithelial cells and promotes the calcium absorption. So, vitamin D in the form of calcitriol is an important factor for calcium absorption inside the body. Parathyroid hormone from the thyroid gland enhances calcium absorption through increased synthesis of calcitriol. So, this is the way calcitriol along with the parathyroid hormone makes the promotion for the calcium absorption. Along with that student acidity favors the calcium absorption. So, low pH is more favorable for the calcium absorption. Lactose promotes the calcium uptake in intestinal cells and the amino acids like lysine, arginine facilitates the calcium absorption in major amount. So, students these are the important factors which promotes the calcium absorptions in the human body. So, this is the way what we had discussed today about the calcium. Thank you.